Hi guys, Tess Plevenix here from Something UK and Windsurf UK magazines. Uh, I've been asked by Mark Graham from NCW to just give you a little bit of a um, overview of modern wetsuits, particularly if you're a wild swimmer, particularly if you haven't actually used a modern wetsuit. And by modern, I'm talking one from the last couple of years, for instance. I know Mark's had quite a lot of inquiries from people like yourselves who've maybe gotten into wild swimming this year for whatever reason, not least because of COVID uh, and having the free time to do so. Uh, but you might not have actually been had the chance to wear a modern wetsuit, as it were. Um, now, OK, I appreciate I'm not a wild swimmer per se, but I do windsurf and stand up paddleboard and surf and do a variety of different board sports, which at times does require me to swim in the wild, i.e. I might lose my kit, maybe if I'm windsurfing and I stack a jump and I have to swim after my kit after having bailed the equipment, I need to go after it. So I need a wetsuit that firstly keeps me warm, I need a wetsuit that's obviously going to give me the freedom of movement. Funnily enough, windsurfing, stand-up paddleboard and surfing relies on all of this upper body movement, which can be equated to wild swimming. And then, like I say, at points, I do actually need to swim in the wild for whatever reason. So modern wetsuits these days will keep you very, very warm. The technology that the manufacturers employ is proper high end now. You can probably get away with a much thinner wetsuit than you could maybe a few years back because the neoprene and the material, the other materials used are so good at keeping you warm. But like I say, from your point of view as a wild swimmer, from my point of view as a water sports person that needs that freedom of movement, modern wetsuits are particularly flexible whilst retaining their memory. So they'll flex, give you that freedom of movement, but will always go back to sort of the shape that they were designed originally in. So I've got an example here. Um, this is an NCW zip jacket, as you can see. It's got the NCW logo. This is a newer product from NCW, I believe. Um, but this is basically modern neoprene. I think it's around the two mil mark. Uh, you'd have to check on the website. But basically this designed really the zip the zip front easy access for maybe somebody who struggles to get wetsuits on over their head or zip the back up or whatever you can use it as a layering system or you can use it as a standalone garment when the temperatures are warm enough but like I said coming back to those flex properties if I show you the arm for instance look you can stretch it right out okay and it's the same along the shoulders where you'll be needing that movement and also if I flip it upside down you can see along the bottom hem nice and stretchy yet at the same time figure hugging now that is sort of one particular garment if I pick up the next one this is a typhoon wetsuit again supplied by NCW typhoon highly reputable wetsuit brand one of the third party brands that NCW deal with because they are so good this is their Kona wetsuit. This is a three mil. Like I say, super warm, even at this time of year being November at the time of me doing this video. Um, it's a little bit cooler, but you could quite happily wear this maybe with a, a rash vest such as the one there to keep you additionally warm. Um, but again, if you look at the stretch properties of it, you can see the shoulders, I've got lots of flex and the arms as well. Lots of flex in the arms that you can see I can stretch it right out. And also as well, coming down to the legs, you know, the legs stretch, flex. So basically, modern wetsuit, modern wetsuit accessory, a thermal rash vest, you know, perfectly applicable to you guys who want to do wild swimming and any of the other sports that I've mentioned as well. You don't need a triathlon suit. That's the first thing. Okay, if you're a budding pro and you're vying for maybe podiums at events and such like, then you want something maybe like that that's got, as much as it will keep you warm, it's got hydrodynamic and air, additional hydrodynamic and aerodynamic properties. But for people just recreationally wild swimming, a good quality, well-made, well-designed, well-manufactured wetsuit with those flex properties as I've just highlighted there, will be absolutely fine for you.
If you've got any more questions about Typhoon wetsuits or any of NCW's wetsuits or accessories, feel free to give Mark at the Rubber Shack a shout and I'm sure he'll be able to answer all your questions.